I got this book, this cookbook at a flea market. And y'all know, <laughs> y'all that's watched me for so long, y'all know how much I love cookbooks and I love flea markets. And that's where I find most of my cookbooks, the older cookbooks especially. And this one here, and I left the price tag on for a reason. It was uh, $3.99 is what I paid for it at a flea market. It's the Nestle Tow House Best Love Cookies. So before we make our cookies, I just want to read this to you because it's, it is a little bit interesting. It says how the legendary Tow House cookie came to be. The Tow House cookie got its name from a lovely old Tow House located between Boston and New Bedford, Massachusetts. Built in 1709, the house had long been a haven for weary travelers in search of food, drink, and a change of horses. The historic old house was purchased by Mr. and Miss Wakefield in 1930 and turned into the now famous Tow House Inn. In keeping with tradition, Miss Wakefield baked her guest for her guests, perfecting and improving upon many old recipes. Soon her tasty desserts attracted people from all over New England. One day, while stirring together a batch of butter drop dew cookies, a favorite colonial recipe, Miss Wakefield cut a bar of Nestle semi-sweet chocolate into bits and added them to her cookie dough, expecting them to melt. Instead, the chocolate held its shape, softening to a creamy texture. This delicious discovery was dubbed the Tow House Cookie, which became a widespread favorite. With Miss Wakefield's permission, we put the recipe on the wrapper of our Nestle semi-sweet chocolate bar. As the popularity of the Tow House Cookie continued to grow, we looked for ways to make this cookie easier to bake. First, we produced a special scored chocolate bar that could be divided into small sections. Then we began offering tiny pieces of chocolate in convenient packages. And that's how the first real Nestle Tow House semi-sweet chocolate morsels was introduced. Since they were first created for the Tow House cookie, Nestle semi-sweet morsels have been satisfied, have satisfied the chocolate cravings of millions. Today they're used to make hundreds of delectable chocolate goodies all across America. Nestle is pleased to present our Chocolate Lovers cookie collection on the following pages with over 70 recipes. You'll find all your favorite cookies and bars, plus many new ones, straight from the Toll House Cookie Kitchen to yours. And then when you turn the page, it has this yummy picture on there. It's the Chocolate Hall of Fame. It says, ever since Miss Wakefield used Nestle chocolate to invent the original Toll House cookie, the Nestle name has been synonymous with home-baked goodness, inspiring delighted smiles and warm childhood memories of sweet aromas drifting from the oven. The recipes in this chapter have become the most requested and enjoyed, earning them a proud place in our Chocolate Hall of Fame. So the Chocolate Hall of Fame is the Chocolate Turtle Brownies, the Frosted Double Chocolate Cookies, and the original Nestle Tow House Chocolate Chip Cookie Recipe. So those three recipes are in the Chocolate Hall of Fame. And the first recipe is the original Chocolate Chip, Nestle Tow House Chocolate Chip Cookie Recipe. But we're gonna skip on through and today we're going to be making a cookie that I've been making for my kids and grandkids. Um, it's the chocolate oat chip cookies. It has oats in it. Um, it's just a really good cookie, all around good cookie. Uh, my kids have always enjoyed them. I'm going to do something a little different today though. Instead of just chocolate chips, I'm going to put uh, probably half chocolate chips and half uh, peanut butter chips. and. Uh, I think that'll be good too. So let's go in there and get started and make us some chalk oat chip cookies. 
Well, my little house is full of excitement and noises today, but we're going to get these cookies made. I've got two sticks of softened room temperature butter. And we're going to go ahead and we're going to mix our sugars. I've got a half a cup of granulated sugar and I've got a one and one fourth cup of brown sugar. And we're just going to get them mixed up good. And then we'll add a few more ingredients before we get into our dry ingredients. We're going to start off by putting our two eggs in here. And I've got two tablespoons of whole milk and two teaspoons of vanilla extract. Now you don't have to use whole milk, you can use uh, low fat, whatever you got. And I'm just gonna turn the mixture on and mix that just a couple seconds. Um, my mixer, my KitchenAid big mixer is so loud and I'm not sure that it's supposed to be that way, but it's very, very loud. I'm using this mixer today because it was up here on my counter and it is a good mixer, but I enjoy using my my Bosch uh, mixer that y'all see me use, but this one does a good job too. It's just very, very loud. So I scrape down the sides again. We're just going to mix it up a little better. I've got two and a half cups of quick oats. You can use quick oats or you can use the old-fashioned oats. Either, either one will work. And we're just going to mix that up a couple seconds. Scrape the sides down again. This, this is by far one of my, my kids' favorite cookie recipe. And it's become my grandkids favorite too. Now I've got one and three-fourths cup of all-purpose flour, a teaspoon of baking soda, and a half a teaspoon of salt. I'm just going to get all this in the, the mixer. And all we'll like now is our chocolate chips and our nuts. And I'm using half milk chocolate chips, and I'm using half, uh, it's Reese's peanut butter chip. Okay, I'm just using a cookie scoop, and I'm uh, just putting my cookie dough out on parchment paper. I've not sprayed it or buttered it or greased it or nothing, oiled it. It's just, just dry parchment paper because... Your cookies won't stick to it. Now I'm using just my small cookie sheet because I'm going to use my countertop oven to cook my cookies in because I've got the grandkids. I've got pizza in the, in the big oven for the grandkids as lunch. So, but, uh, so you can use a, a big cookie sheet and get these cooked a lot faster than what I am, but that's okay. They'll be eating these just as soon as they come out of the oven, I guarantee you. We like eating cookies hot out of the oven. And there they are. It took about eight minutes. Delicious. Well, I hope y'all like this recipe. I'm going to include my recipe back here. Y'all can pause this and write this down on whatever device you're watching on. Or you can go down in my information box below my video. And all of my recipes are always down there and with all my information. So anytime that you're wanting a written recipe, always go down below the videos because that's where I put them is in that information box. God bless everybody. We'll see y'all in a couple of days. Mm -hmm.